Hey people, Angel here for every three, Estil Province Blue Team. We have the Tenso with a Hive Tyrant, a very durable hero through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense, disruption and support begins in melee combat with a basic synapse. We shall call it Ricardo. On request from Tenso himself. Alongside here is V-Snack with a Apothecary support hero that fights in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Rounding off the blue team now, Oceans 8 Alaska with a Warp Spider Exarch, teleporting hero that fights in ranged combat by default, great at capping and harassing with powerful control abilities. Red team then, Templar Ghost is a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fights in melee combat, begins with a Refractor Shield Death Core of Krieg over here, getting stuck into some Tyranids. Alongside Prophet of the Book with another Apothecary, this is the Black Templar's elite scheme. And rather than us off, some more Eldar, it's Dance in my Goblin Porn movie. As a Farseer support hero that fights in melee combat. Powerful buffs, debuffs and control abilities. Got a special attack there. I like how the Farseer's special attack doesn't actually use her weapon. She just kind of waves her hand and you fall down. Which is fair enough, it's a Farseer. Here comes a Sentinel. Getting the ground pound upgrade but doesn't have it quite yet. Trying to fake out those Termigants. Ricardo the Hive Tyrant is chasing down the Lord Commissar. Ground Pound is now in effect. But everything escapes to the garrison. Does stomp on Ricardo though. Who's now taking some damage from a bunch of las guns. Looks like the Lord Commissar of Templar Ghost is going to win this first engagement. Nicely done. Used the Sentinel well, used the Commissar well and got it done. Father Curry runs away. That is, uh, who was that? Oh, they're both running away. I'm going to get them mixed up a lot, I know it. Shotguns in play for Profit. Double tax for V-Snack. Looks like Profit is not going double tax then. What do we see in terms of power? Not, not a huge... Oh, wrong, wrong player. Lots of power down from the Eldar player over here, so we might see some Assault Marines from Profit. Oh, Warp Spider's in melee with Dire Avengers, and they're kicking and elbowing and dying. Can they finish off that warp spider? 11 hit points? No. He gets a very fancy uh, sink kill. That's one of the fanciest ones and his arms went really strange at the end. Epic melee combat over there. West side. Tyranids having to retake this natural wreck point. We have a warrior brood on the field getting their barbed strangler. Ranged weapon AOE that instantly suppresses infantry targets. Relatively short range, but uh, usually does a pretty good job for you in tier 1. There they are, trying to get a shot on these guardsmen. Having to get quite close, as you can see. There we go. And it got them. Didn't quite damage them all, but if you hit one of them, it'll suppress the entire squad. Suppressing the Commissar now. Ricardo goes in, gets a special attack. All very fancy. Tried to dodge the Sentinel, and mostly did. Now streaming through are these Tyranids. We do have a heavy weapon squad in play, as you'd expect, perhaps, against those Tyranids over there. Father Kerry getting stuck into some Howling Banshees. They're all alone here. Now they have some support. We have Rangers up. Double Rangers, in fact, from Ocean's 8 Alaska. Is there anything more annoying to face in Tier 1 than two well-played Ranger squads? It's constantly knocking you over. Dealing chunks of damage, suppressing you too. Father Carry with this customized Storm Bolter. You might see it from both players, and it'll just be a case of who can use full auto first. Although the anointed power axe could be incredibly strong late game for V Snack because of the assault squad on the enemy side. Profit of the book with no Oh! Spoke too soon. Storm Bolter is on the way. Good start for Blue Team. Got this wreck point. A little bit of power bashing, although these Dire Avengers are studiously trying to repair that. Guide on them. Should have perhaps put guide on your Guardian weapon team here, Dance. Those guys are just moving up. Rangers getting shots in. Assault squad kicking off this fight with a jump in. And we'll see who uses full auto first. It's V-Snack using it on the Assault squad there. Now being used on the Rangers. I assume they'd be used on the enemy apothecaries. 
Farseer fighting a warp spider and getting rid of him. No war gear though, I don't think. Nope. Messy fight. Banshee's coming in now to try to mop it up and suppress. If they weren't suppressed there, might have got some kills or maybe one kill on his tactical marines as it stands though. The Shuriken Cannon doing a great job catching stuff in this relatively narrow area. Meanwhile, west side, Warrior Brood being tied up by a Lord Komosar, able to get in despite there being double termigants here with Toxin Sacks. Killing one of the Warriors, you saw a Synapse explosion there. Would have knocked over those termigants, but they were retreating. Ricardo's found some Guardsmen. Poor bastards. We've got Extended Carapace in play. Might need to run though, and does need to run. In fact, might go down. Oh, he's got over 100 hit points, he should be fine. East side, Shuriken is sent pack in. We have more Assault Marines this time from V-Snack. So just straight up has a more powerful army than Prophet, but Prophet able to go tier 2 earlier here. Scout shotguns too. What about V-Snack? Yep, also shotguns. Three seven six to four two seven, kind of butting heads over here in two v two fights on the east side. Meanwhile, blue team have a fully populated power point on this eastern edge. Tyranids trying to get in around a little bit more here, avoiding the heavy weapon squads. Heavy bolter now shooting at a Lord Commissar who backs away, puts his shield up. Good play, I think, from Templar Ghost. There could have got. The Lord Commissar isolated, but uh, chooses to stay compact, which is a good thing. I think he's going to be forced off here, though. Good stomp, though, on the Hormogorts. Gets rid of him, but the heavy weapon squad has to get out of there. They are getting their own refractor field, which is a pretty handy thing to have. Again, the Lord Commissar able to slip in there and get some melee going on the Warriors. We have double Warrior Brutes here for the Tenso. Do you have your power sword? No. Nope. No power sword. Does have a Chimera though. And Tenso only just started going tier 2. So he could see that thing do some work. Meanwhile, mid. Singing Spear in play. Not a weapon you see all that often really. And some Dark Reapers also for darts. Howling Banshee's still up for Oceans. They have the Aspect of Strength. We've got those double Rangers doing their thing. Looks like they have finally got the blue team out of their backyard where the power was. And blue team still have this, let's not forget. Termigants lost. Dark Creepers kind of aimlessly shooting at things at the moment. There we go. Target something. Those guys with um, Inferno Bolt weapons. Inferno PvP damage, I should say. Not quite as dangerous as Plasma in most regards. Painful, which is why you don't see full of squads doing plasma damage. Dreadnought on the way for Prophet of the Book. Do we have any upgrades to the Warriors yet? Queued up? Nope. There's the tier 2. Tier 3 for V Snack. That's a pretty ballsy choice. The Hive Tyrant trying to steal this other contested power, which was red. Can they get both of the contested powers fully populated? Termigants are trying. Need some support and V-Snack is here. Going tier 3. Lost the scouts. Has V-Snack. Banshee trying to get in. Good play from Oceans. Flanking inwards. And winning the fight basically for the blue team there. The Space Marines might have been able to just power through. But the Banshee's coming in. Ended it very quickly. And now a bunch of that Space Marine stuff is off the field for Red Team. In fact, the Assault Squad also retreated for some reason. Maybe they didn't like Rangers shooting at them. There's that Dreadnought. It is still coming. A Wraith Lord for Oceans. Farseer has found a power node to hit. Not sure that's the best use of your time right now, Dance. There's like units over here. We have an Assault Cannon. Bad news for enemy Eldar, bad news for enemy everything, basically, infantry-wise, but especially light infantry. 285, 427, there's the barrage. Overshoot slightly. 
and the Rangers are relatively safe. West side, turning blue. Tyranids in full force. We have Thorax Swarm up for these fellas, and they're getting a Barb Strangler also. We're going to see double Barb Strangler Warrior Broods. Do they both, both have Thorax Swarm? I think they do. Gives you the Electro Shock Grubs and Desiccator Larvae also. A couple of buffs for the Warrior Brood themselves. A little bit more speed and some more health. Which is, it's a pretty damn good upgrade, I think. Vanguard Veterans in play for V-Snack. Gets a quick tier 3, gets some Vanguard Veterans up. They can do some work, that's for sure. Getting in on some Tactical Marines now. And those power weapons will slice through them. But look at this. Anointed Power Axe in play from Prophet of the Book. This could be a big fight here if the red team stay in. I don't think they're going to, though. Banshees in the back lines. Electroshock Grubs on the Dreadnoughts. And another one. This could go down right here right now. I think it will. And it does. Look at this. Ricardo has Crushing Claws. They should really rename this to Crushing Claws. He clearly has two of them. And even in the tooltip, it says Massive Crushing Claws. Give me an S. West side gets uncapped. Chimera is still healthy. Lots of requisition for Templar Ghost. Look at this. Could go tier 3. Here come those Warrior Broods with those Thorax Swarms. Could be a dead... It's going to be a dead Chimera, surely, yeah. Double Electro Shock Grubs on the rear armor. It's not even going to survive one of them. There we go. Tyranids looking strong right now and they've got a venom brood which are not doing anything but that's even more anti-vehicle and double missile launchers bloody hell they really don't like vehicles around wraith guard in play from dance those dark creepers still doing some work also got a bunch of xp not quite leveled yet they finally got onto this power over here should be able to steal it good overall Overall map pressure though from the blue team right here. V Snack hasn't really been affected adversely by going tier 3 so quickly. Had a much easier to do of course in a 3v3 when you have support from two other players. Especially if you're able to communicate the fact that you're going tier 3 early. The other player can go heavy tier 2 and make up for it. That is a Melter Bomb on the Wraith Lord with a Bright Lance. Even more anti-vehicle from the blue team. Can this Wraithlord get out of here? Take him. Missile launcher shots. Here comes the Warp Spider to tie them up. Nicely done by Oceans. Looks like the Wraithlord might survive. Oh, the Warp Spider went down though. I think it's going to be okay. What's that crap on those fellas? Was that Entangling Web or something? 280, 356, east side. We have a Webway game. This could be dicey for the Wraith Guard. Banshee's in on the Guardy Weapon team. Knocks them back. Oh, but the Wraith Guard able to get a good volley in there. Sees off the Banshees, dropping three models in the process. Wraith Cannons are painful, fellas. Tier 3 for everyone, aside from Prophet and Dance. Fierce fighting now on the west side with 2v2 battles over here. Level 3 Apothecary, Armor of the Apothecarian, Purification Vials, bit late for those I think, and Anointed Power Axe, we'll see how they do. Ogrin's on the way for Templar Ghost, V-Snack is down as you just saw. Red Team continuing the pressure on the east side, decapping the power, and they have stolen this too. Good play from Dance. High of Tyrant Ricardo charging in with the Crushing Claws, and has now forgotten what he was doing. There you go. Hit some tactical marines and they immediately pop there and they shall know no fear buff. Shotgun scouts there, Wraith Lord not wanting to really get involved in some fisticuffs because he knows. Oceans knows there's tons of anti vehicle around. The Hive Tyrant is going to go down. Poor Ricardo. And down they go. I guess the Wraith Guard aren't really over here to threaten the Wraith Lord. Oh, now they are. 
That's Eldar for you. Ogrins, I don't think have been spotted yet. We do have a Melter Bomb. The Missile Launcher as well. Both sides packing some anti-vehicle. Land Raider Edema on the way for V-Snack. This could be bad for these Tactical Marines. The Sort Squad jumping in. Vanguard Veterans, I should say. And they have a Power Fist now. Anointed Power Axe. Bother carries in there, but he's not fighting. He was using his advanced healing thing. Wraith Lord is fully repaired up and does have Wraith Bone, the tier 3 upgrade, which is a very useful self heal. 190 to 1351. Angels of Death popped by Prophet, trying to keep the pressure up here. Banshee's coming in from the side. It's the best way to use them. Not head on. They could do so much work flanking. Losing their Exarch. Farsi is putting up a fight. She's got her Armor of the Assyrian on the way in Tier 3 also. Here's the Land Raider. Going to make a massive difference on this side potentially. We'll see what the red team can do in terms of taking this thing on. Where's the Whirlwind? It's running away. Land Raider clearing a path. Are you fellas going to get away? Level 3 Dire Avengers. Looks like they are going to get away. Banshee's deciding not to slice them in half as they ran there. 2 to 1 cap for the red team. Carnifex now for the Tenso. Starting to build up a sizable VP lead. Pretty much 200 for the red team. Have really come back strong. Lord Commissar with the Xeno's Power Claw. Carapace Armor and Stubbornness in play. Carnifex. I imagine there's going to be a Barb Strangler, but um, they're all pretty damn good, the upgrades for this thing. It's usually quite a tough choice. Especially since the Barb Strangler and the uh, Melee are pretty much good against everything. The Venom Cannon's a bit more specialised anti-large target. Blue team coming back strong on the west side. There is a bunker up. It's a medical bunker. Not sure how long it's going to last. Father Carey's not impressed with this fight. Wasn't even facing it. There's the purification vials. Not going to do a whole lot. Tyranids charging through and it is a barbed strangler on the way. Whirlwind backing off. And this land raider isn't stopping. This could be a big mistake, especially when you're facing Eldar, who could Eldritch your Land Raider. That was a Melter Bomb on it, I think. And now a Lehman Rust to chase it. Ogrins are there. Ricardo runs. Venom Brood could put some pressure on the Lehman Rust alongside those Electro Shock Grubs. Where's the repairs? Guards are off the field right now. Lehman Russ is going to get shot down, I think. Down it goes. Down it goes. Maybe wasn't a great choice with the amount of anti-vehicle that the blue team have. Even more than the red team. And now we have some Terminators from V-Snack. All of a sudden, it's not looking good, very good for the red team. They still have a big VP lead. And blue team needs to, like, cap them and stuff. So basically a 3v2 fight over there, I think. But they're doing some work with it. Not often you see a Lehman Rust go down that fast. Very effective power bashing. Spawn mines being annoying. Level 3 Commerce. He's almost level 4. Taking some shots though. Ogrin is getting their bonehead leader again. Last kind of getting shots. Is there anything else here though? Aside from the Obrins. Don't think so. And they're taking so much damage. Trying to charge in head on to the Land Raider. Now the Laz Cannon can no longer get shots. Is there anything here to repair though? I don't think the blue team have any repair units on the field right now. Oh they do. Oceans has some Dire Avengers over here. 96 to 333. Blue team running out of VPs here. Both of the naturals have been red for a while. While the blue team 
charged on that base and then kind of sat there. Red team are behind in terms of armies though, quite considerably I think. Because V-Snack with a Land Raider and Terminators that is so strong. Supported by an Apothecary as well, let's not forget. Here come the Ogrins. That's kind of needs to keep moving up. Lord Kumasar gets a level from the Revive. Ricardo's level 3. Looking at some tactical marines to uh, try and eat. Boom. Got a hit on. They did not drop a model though. Still a 2 to 1 cap against the blue team. They are finally retaking their natural VP now. Thanks to Ocean's Fire Prism on the way for Dance. Yep, they need more of that kind of stuff. Although, that Fire Prism is going to need to be very, very careful. Music's maximum range all the time. Templar Ghost is confused about something. Oh, just lost the Ogrins. I wasn't paying attention, even though it was right on my screen. Indrid casts for you. Land Red has been used very aggressively so far, and it's and it's and it's okay. It's fine. At the moment, it's fine. We do have Cyclone Missile Launcher Terminators, who um. Oh, it was these guys. I was going to say I saw some Cyclone missiles going in a very strange direction. It was these fellas. Sixty-six to three one one. That's the whirlwind doing its thing. Not sure if it's already fired off the hunter killer. That was a decent shot. Fire Prism now getting shots in. We've got a missile launcher here. Can they take down this land raider right here, right now? Hive Tyrant doing its best to keep the Terminators away from it because they do have power fists, remember. Land raider is now leaving, which is probably a good idea. These guys are going to die. You can't flank two armies with a single... Dark Creeper squads. Three armies even. Some Eldar here too. Templar Ghost with another Lehman Rust. Maybe this one will be a bit more healthier for a bit longer. Walk Spider went down at some point. Has the Heavy Gauge Death Spinner, Enhanced Walk Jump Generator and Improved Targeters. Red Team continuing to get that VP back. Red Team have a double somehow. Blue team are really dropping the ball in terms of VPs here. They have bloodlust. And they uh, are not playing the objective very well. Down goes the land raider. I mean, it, it did a lot of work. But you could have just put it on the west side and been safe. It's not like you got this VP for very long. There's a time field. One of the fire prisms went down, but there is still one around. Getting shots on those time fielded fellas. Fire Prism now on the way for Oceans. Tier 3 Lictar for Tenso. No upgrade for Lehman Rust. Looks like a retreat from V Snack. How long was V Snack's stuff in the field for there? That was amazing. Supported by a Land Raider, of course. Father Curry is annoyed and even more annoyed now that the full auto is in his face. Double cap here for Blue Team. Finally, they get a positive cap on VPs. What is this? Oh, they've stolen the bunker as well. Another Lehman Russ from Templar Ghost. Here's that Carnifex. Level 2. That is so painful. Three Barb Stranglers here. No sign of Vanquisher. To help shoot down the Carnifex. Getting some decent shots in though. So is the Las Cannon. Can they get one more? It can. Might need some move now. And this Lehman Rust needs to be careful. Still a Venom Brood. And double Thorax Swarm. And of course the Barb Trangler from this thing. Can hurt everything. Double Cap for Blue. They've got superior armies. Can they hold on though? We've seen the red team play the VP game a little bit better so far. So the blue team have calmed down a bit. And they're like, hey, we need to actually win this game. Not just kill everything. Here's the second Lehman Russ. 
We are getting a Vanquisher over here. See the barrel get longer. Very effective against vehicles, as you can see. Big chunks of damage per shot at good range. Fire Prism, Double Demon Russ is a decent AV, and the last cannon too. Not to mention this guy who can get in there. Is this an Eldritch Storm? It is. Takes out the Brood Nest. Everything else runs forward. Might have been slightly wasteful there. From. I guess that was Dance's Eldritch. Tyranno formation from the Tenso. Tearing it off the field. Can they get this Carnifex down? Lots of damage on this Lehman Russ, and that's the one with the Vanquisher. Might be able to chase this thing down here. It would be a risk, and it, as you can see, Templar goes not wanting to take that risk with his Lehman Russes. And that's probably the right call. Ricardo's level 4, chasing a Lord Commissar down, who is in turn trying to finish off this Carnifex with his Xenos Power Claw. Not sure if he's going to have the speed to be able to do this. There's a melee charge. Don't think so. Got some good damage on though. That thing's going to have to heal up for a little bit longer. Avatar of Cain on the field for Dance. Templar Ghost now getting a Manticore. Good thing I suppose when you're fighting over a contested VP. Often we see Manticores not really pay for themselves. Maybe Templar can make this one work. Level 3 Vanguard Veterans. A bad melee fight for Wraithguard. This Lima Russ still without an upgrade. What do we have in terms of nuke availability? Templar and Oceans could both drop a nuke. In fact, there it is. The rocket to run from Templar Ghost. Pretty good one too. Pretty good one. Oceans Warp Spider trying to use the phase armor to uh, save stuff from the nuke I think maybe. Nice idea. Blue team down to 21 VPs now. The red team doing such a good job here. And they have the west side back and they're pushing back the blue. D cannon in play from Oceans. Need to be careful though. This is going to be a big help. Stopping caps and stuff. Some repairs for the Fire Prism. That is an Eldritch Storm. In between two Lehman Russes. They both get hit by it. This could be bad. Is there anything here to follow this up? There is a Wraith Lord here. Level 3. Getting Bright Lance shots. Gets a melee attack. Almost takes out the Lehman Russ. Down it goes. Sacrificed itself to take down the Lehman Russ there. Eight VPs remaining for the blue team. They need to put some pressure on this. There's a Lictor. Do your thing. Flesh hooks the uh, scouts. I think he should have just ran up there and started attacking them. They do have a detector though. So maybe he wanted to get that flesh hook first. Goes for the decap. Which I guess is smart. Profit needs to purchase some units. It's floating resources here. Maybe they're waiting for red to get terminators. I think that's a mistake. Should be getting stuff now. Could get a land raider. Could get a land raider. Blue team have the west side back. In fact, they have a double. Because the Lictor was able to kill scouts. And finish this cap. It's going to be a triple here. Blue team might have this now with a last hurrah, a last little push it. Double terminators with V-Snack. This um, avatar is not going to achieve a whole lot here, not sure what it's doing. I guess it's desperation time for red team. Ricardo has got his venom cannon out for some reason. Not sure what, maybe to, I guess to shoot down Templar Ghosts of Vehicles, I suppose. We've got some capping Vanguard Veterans. A double cap still for Blue. Land Raider Edema is on the way 
for profit of the book, it might be too late. Is it even going to get over here in time? See a council for dance. Rudeness complete. There it is. Yeah, red team needs to get on this VP somehow. Assault squad jumping in. What is this fella? Oh, he's phases. He's phased out. Because of the warp spider. 8 to 8. Oh, 8 to 9. It's stopped with a 1 to 1 cap here. Here comes some Eldar. Seer Council are in play. And they're ready to chop stuff up. Wraith God. Oh, getting some painful shots in there. It's the Farseer capping. Red team trying to make an impact on the west side too, but it's there's a lot of stuff here. What is this? Hormagaunts chasing all the way up the map. Farseer is going to complete this. Does complete it. So your council get to some good damage in, but they can't stay in that fight for too long. For some reason, the Terminators are not fighting the Wraith Guard in melee. Who are they chasing? Oh, they're going after those Dire Avengers. Could have, like, split your forces there. One to nine. The Tensor said GG a bit too early there. Terminate is now capping. One VP is all they need to take off the red team. Dance needs to get something on the field. Could drop and nuke also. Should be nuking this, surely. Should have nuked this with an Eldritch. Assuming it, it was off cooldown, which I imagine it was. Misplay there. There's an Eldritch. From Dance. Everything was saved by the phase, I think. Was that a clutch phase shift from Oceans? I think it was. It's, he seemed to do it before the nuke came in. Before the marker hit the floor. Maybe just assumed maybe there would be a nuke. What a close... You don't get closer than that. One to zero. Red team seemed to have weaker armies for a lot of the game, but uh, fought it really well. Really well. And we did see the land raider come out. Making lots of noise. Let's look at the heroes. End of the game. Ricardo the Hive Tyrant. Level 6. Had the Venom Cannon at the end. These Snacks Apothecary. Also level 6. Warps for Rexark of Oceans. Level 5. Level 6 Commissar over here. A level 9 Apothecary for Profit. And the Farseer. Also level 9. She did some work with this spear. There you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.